Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher and thanks for taking a little time to check today's video out. Today we're gonna have sort of a, just a discussion, just a wide ranging discussion on colors. As far as colors, you know, fish like, fish don't like, uh, really what the conditions are to choose certain colors and just sort of give you guys a basic foundational approach that'll help you out with that. Um, real quick guys, before we get started, I just wanna remind you guys if anybody out there interested and uh, checking out our, some of our Fish the Moment lake map breakdowns. I'll put the Fish the Moment link in the description. We've got breakdowns of lakes that'll help you find the good fishing spots on all most of the major lakes across the country. And if we don't have it on the website, uh, you can book a virtual lesson with myself and we can go over any lake that you wanna go over. So I'll put all the Fish the Moment info in, that, in the description here. Much appreciated. Excuse me. Okay guys, get into this a little bit about colors. Um, a lot of people put a lot of people think color is really important and a lot of people think colors don't matter it's not that big of a deal to a fish i tend to be on the side that color makes a lot of difference i have seen it myself over and over again that specific colors will work better in specific situations but the thing about that is there's no there's no really right or wrong answer a lot of it has to do with just what the fish prefer that particular day and it could be something that has to do with the mixture of water clarity, sky conditions, wind, a lot of different factors determine the color that the fish want, you know, particularly. And also there's usually, sometimes there's just some things about a lake, just, it's unique just to that one lake that the fish, for whatever reason, they like a certain color. But regardless, you sort of have to start somewhere. So I'm gonna give you guys sort of a basic foundational approach. My approach, a lot of it is based upon water clarity and sunlight condition as far as the cloud level conditions. In general, when you're fishing clear water, like water visibility that is like over four foot in clarity, um, your natural colors are gonna work better. Like your green pumpkins and your watermelons, uh, you know, browns, that type of stuff, the more natural type colors are simply gonna get you more bites because they look more natural in the water and fish aren't turned off by them. Now the exception to that would be if you're fishing for smallmouth bass. Now smallmouth bass in clear water sometimes like really, really bright colors, like bright whites, bright chartreuses, oranges. Um, so that's, there's sort of a difference between the smallmouth and the uh, spotted bass or the largemouth, especially on the northern strain of smallmouth. Now as the water clarity gets a little dirtier, say it gets under four foot clarity, you say you're in that two to four foot zone, um, there's a lot of wide range of colors that can work. Your natural colors, again, can work good, but also some of your darker colors can be begin to come into play, like your blacks and your June bugs and your red bugs, red shad, that type of stuff. And a lot of that has to do with the sunlight conditions as far as how much light intensity it is. If you've got, say, three foot of visibility, which is pretty clean water, um, and say you've got dark skies early or late in the day, or if it's rainy or something like that, you'll find maybe that your darker colors work under those conditions, but if you've got like a real bright day with not much wind and those same type of water visibilities, the natural colors are gonna work better. Now, if you get down below two foot of visibility, say in that eight inches to a foot and a half range of visibility, that's when almost all the time your darker or your brighter colors are gonna work better. Your blacks, your June bugs, for the soft plastics and jigs, and the brighter colors like a a pearl or a white or a chartreuse on a hard bait. Something that, you know, gives them a little bit easier visual to track down in that dirtier water. But that's just sort of a guideline. Ultimately, you just have to experiment and let the fish tell you because I've seen exceptions to those rules and I've also seen the fish follow those rules. So it just gives you a starting point and we all have to start somewhere. So anyway, I hope it helps. So I'll talk to you guys later. See you.